Welcome back. Still tuned into First Trades and holding out quite comfortably a smart rally playing out with 11,200 on the screen. Axis Bank, Hindalco, Bajaj Finserve, SBI, m and and Grasim are some of the high flyers in trade. But let's focus in on a sector that's certainly going to be breathing a sigh of relief and that's malls that are set to open today with respect to the government's Unlock 3.0 guidelines. So we'll focus then on the rental renegotiations, getting back to normalcy and what the focus is when it comes to the business plan. Rajendra Kalkar is the president West, the Phoenix Mills now joining in on the show. Thank you so much for taking time out. I'm sure you're heaving a sigh of relief today. But tell us a little bit more about the preparedness in place. I'm sure there's a lot of safety, sanitization measures for unlockers now. We're opening up quite slowly. Hello and good morning to everybody. Yes, it's a really, really exciting day. After four and a half months of lockdown uh, and the new world and the new norm, things have changed a lot. And we're looking forward to a new normal opening of the malls across the western uh, sector of the country, especially Maharashtra. So far as the preparedness is concerned, you know, uh, there are basically four or five things that you have to take care of what the whole world is saying. The social distancing, ensuring of the mask, sanitization, and ensuring that you work, you keep everything neat, clean, and ensure that the air is clean. So we are working on all of these aspects. So, you know, for malls, when you look at Phoenix, we have made a lot of investments and capital investments to ensure that the customers have a very, very safe journey inside the mall. Contact-free, touch-free is the mantra. So when a customer comes inside the mall, he's greeted with a nice foot sanitization mat. He's greeted with a nice thermal camera, which measures the temperature. He's greeted with a nice automatic hand sanitizer. And we have something very special, which is called as the UV scanner. So when you come with your bags, all your bags are actually, you know, uh, you put them in that UV scanner and 360 degrees, the bag is sanitized, which is a big advantage because when you come from outside within the mall premises, you're completely sanitized. If you're coming by a car, you get a complete contact-free, touch-free parking experience. All the retailers have really worked hard and the parking system has worked. And now everything is a digital payment if you want, so you don't have to touch your cash, everything can be done using your UPI, GPay, Paytm, whatever is required. So, you know, these are all the touch points, the lifts, the escalators, the toilets, these are going to be very, very scary points from a customer's perspective. And we have ensured and taken enough care to clean them on regular intervals using lots of nice and modern chemicals, which will give them a sense of safety. Yes, please. Okay, yes, indeed, as we can see from the visuals as well on the screen, all of these measures being put into place. Um, but I wanted to understand from you, um, do you think that we can see, you know, the levels in terms of footfalls recovering by, say, in the next couple of months or so? Do you think that we will see that gradual stream of people coming in? Because I'm sure you have been adversely impacted financially due to this complete shutdown. Uh, four and a half months of shutdown is all practically half a year. And obviously the impact for half a year would be dramatic and tremendous and it can break any company's backbone. Touch wood, fortunately, uh, the malls are looking to make a comeback. We have malls in Bangalore and other Lucknow and Bareilly cities. And we have live examples. See, Maharashtra has opened a bit late, but in most of the parts of the country, malls have opened in June. And between the last one month, if you see, the performance has gone up quite high. Uh, say, I, if I take an example of a last last Saturday, Sunday, last weekend across various cities, I think it was really, really buzzing. The customer confidence in the malls is growing. We see that a, quite a lot of numbers of customers have walked in the last weekend inside the mall. Business is also picking up. Yes, I will not say that it has picked up the way it was pre-COVID, but the percentage growth seems to be quite high. We are almost reaching out to 50-60%. The last weekend did reach out to 50-60% of the volume of business. And I would say a large number of footfalls have come back. So that's a positive sign. But let's wait and watch how things pan out. The hope is always good. I think customers are also tired of sitting at home. And they also want an outing now, I think. Yeah. On the business side, how have you supported tenants during this uh, phase as well? Uh, have there been renegotiations when it comes to rental rates? Uh, 
you know, and has that been a uniform uh, renegotiation or are you looking at other uh, uh, combinations? See, uh, fortunately, Phoenix is a large mall operator. We run multiple large malls across various cities in the country. Our relationship with all the brand partners is extremely strong. Uh, we have been able to work with all of our brand partners. We have been able to arrive at mutually acceptable terms. It's a combination. It is not a one fit, uh, which one uh, dress which fits all. It is various modes depending on the abilities of various brands, various organizations, and uh, various individual owners. We have been able to thrash out deals with most of them, I would say. And we are very happy that the malls today will open with a large percentages in the West also, the way they opened in North and uh, in South India for us. So, yes, all the retailers have really supported us. And uh, based on a case-to-case -case basis, some decisions have been taken somewhere more, somewhere less. But I would say the relationship has worked and our partners and we have been able to thrash out and work out mutually acceptable deals. Yes, please. Okay. Um, is there is there also an upside if, if uh, for example, if tenants pass certain revenue milestones, if the unlocking goes well, as you mentioned, it's quite a big mall, so there could be uh, an opportunity there, you know, should things pick up. And uh, going forward as well, any plans to participate in uh, any distressed properties, uh, given that mall developers are struggling as of now? So as an organization, yes, uh, we are prepared. Uh, we are looking at uh, future in a very bright manner. We don't expect that things will suddenly change. And we are going ahead with all the plans. Just to update you, uh, once the COVID got over on 8th of July, we launched a new property in Lucknow. It's a million square feet mall. So, and it has opened very, very well. It opened with most of the anchors opening, most of the brands opening. So we have not made any changes in the plan. That is point number one. Point number two, yes, what you rightly say is this would be an exciting opportunity to maybe expand the portfolio. And depending on what comes our way, uh, we are very open for that. Uh, nothing concrete as of now, but yes, we definitely look forward that if something concrete comes forward, we would like to take a plunge. Okay, fair enough. Um, and are there any plans to participate in acquiring perhaps fresh or distressed properties given that right now is a time when a lot of mall developers are struggling? That's what I said, that uh, we are prepared depending on what comes our way. As I said, nothing concrete is available right now, but if something comes our way which is, which is possible to conclude, maybe we'll look at it very, very positively. Um, and, um, you know, uh, you know, the, uh, you, what is the upside outlook rather on your renegotiated rental rates? Has there been some sort of a, a uniform reduction in the rental rates or are you doing it per customer basis? What has been the plan? Uh, which I already mentioned to you, uh, it's genuinely on a case to case basis. It is not, as I said, it is, you can't have everybody fit in the same bill because every retailer has a separate expectations their financials, their terms, their board, and our terms. So we have married. Everybody is practically a different deal. Somewhere there is, uh, you know, different kinds of deals have happened. MGs, somewhere some waivers, yes, obviously waivers have to be given. So some waivers have been given depending on the case. But uh, we have worked out genuine deals with every brand, every group. So, you know, because we have a lot many malls, we have Madura as a big partner with us, Reliance as a big partner with us, Future Group as a big partner with us. Uh, major brands as a big partner with us. With all these major partners, we have been able to thrash deals on a case-to-case -case basis. And more of, most of them are customized rather than actually being one standard fit. So the outlook is, you're sounding quite positive uh, and thanks for, you know, sort of taking us through in detail all the questions and uh, all of the uh, preparedness as well. Uh, and you are expecting a decent amount of footfall from what you're saying. Any initial numbers, uh, you know, Rajendra, that you have from the stores uh, and even when it comes to uh, 
FNB, perhaps, uh, are there particular challenges on that front? Because I know that's also usually a huge pull for the mall. So, unfortunately, in Maharashtra right now, uh, the FNBs are allowed only to do home deliveries. So, FNBs, I don't expect we'll have an uptick immediately. But I'm reading in the newspaper that the government is thinking of allowing the FNBs to start the restaurants in, in dining also. Once that happens, I am sure things will make a lot of difference. For now, I think for the next one week, 10 days till the time that FNBs are allowed to do only home delivery, I don't expect a much uptick. But yes, people will order because they're also fed up of eating home food for four and a half months. So we are hoping that home delivery will pick up a little bit. So far as the volume of uh, footfall is concerned, uh, we expect that uh, at least in Maharashtra, in our particularly Phoenix, Pune, Phoenix, Kurla, and Lower Parel, Phoenix, we expect that we should be coming back to 50% of the footfalls in the next two, two to three weeks' time. That is our expectation. Our brands also are echoing the same thoughts. So let's keep fingers crossed. Let's see how it pans out. But that's the expectation we have. Fair enough. Let's see how things shape up, but for now, fingers crossed, and definitely it is coming in as a reprieve, uh, given that we are seeing a gradual opening of malls. Thank you so much for taking time out and joining us. Let's slip into a short...